hello my hair is a trash mess because i've just gotten out of the shower but in this video we're gonna i thought it'd be good to just take a quick drive in um well drive to the nearest town with a game and actually check out and see if the boxing day game sales are any good so i think kind of nintendo switch ps5 ps4 xbox one even though i'm a game pass ultimate owner um I thought it would be good to kind of document. Now, historically, game sales at game here in the UK are crap. So I'm kind of not holding out um, for anything, but you never know. So I thought I'm going to take you guys with me. And uh, Jess thinks I'm going out for cat litter, and I am, but she doesn't know I'm going to drive to the nearest game. So, uh, yeah, next point you see, we should be in a town called Chesterfield. Okay, I've just arrived in Chesterfield, but I have this horrible feeling that game is not open. So, oh God, please be open. Yes, here we are. It's open. I don't know why I thought that this place might be closed. But anyway, we're in here now and I've already dropped a game, Calamity Gem. Just to be honest, as you can see, these were quite oddly packed on the shelf. So I apologise to the game Chesterfield staff for wrecking your display. Now you might think, well, Jen, I don't live anywhere near this town, but that's fine because as you guys know we're here, in the United Kingdom, these um, these stores are high street stores, so the price is universal. So I was pleasantly surprised. We've got some Hades there at £17.99. One of the most, I guess, biggest surprises in terms of video games for 2020, so last year. Really good game. I have played it quite a bit and I didn't know what to do, admittedly, first on. Um, it's quite difficult. If you die, you kind of go straight back to your little kind of hub if you would and then you can kind of re-pick your weapons upgrade some stats and go back out into the levels again it's a really really good game now speaking of game there's lots of games in here that aren't video games there's monopoly games there's lego there's jigsaws there's actually loads of stuff always down the front you've got what's coming up now for me february is going to be an absolute banger for video games we've got dying light Two, and we've got Elden Ring. So whilst January, February can typically be quite bleak months, if you're a gamer, it's great because there's loads of stuff coming. Now I thought I'd show this as well. So if anybody's wanting to trade any of their stuff and you don't live near a local store, pause the video, it tells you what you get for cash and credit if you want to kind of bundle out your old consoles and maybe upgrade to a Series S x or ps5 i would always encourage people to go to their local retro game stores before going to high street stores and speaking of i do have a really really massively amazing retro game hunt coming up back at super game shack so you are not gonna want to miss that but we're not there yet we're focusing here on boxing day new year sales now plushies didn't weren't really on sale but this particular game store have a really good selection of plushies i had my eye on bowser i want a really big bowser plushie to go into the lady lounge and i mean here 14.99 you know 10 to 15 quid tends to be the going rate for these standard sized plushies and the standard size are 
quite small. Um, and I want a really, really large Bowser. So we got some Far Cry 6. Now this surprised me, Riders Republic. This came down in price really, really quickly. This is now $29.99. It's a fantastic game. If you're after a nice mid-priced video game for your, for your PlayStation 4, your Xbox One, or whatever you've got, consider Riders Republic. You might be able to get it cheaper elsewhere, but I'm just showing you this. So Switch games, there was a hub of people that flocked in after I had a look through these and we do come back to them so don't worry but I will say there wasn't a massive amount of sales on the switch stuff um, I did clock a couple of things and you'll actually see me pick it up but then I see a different variation it's actually this game I pick up I'm like wait a minute a little bit of Harvest Moon reduced from £34.99 down to £12.99 I'm going to take it but I actually see another Harvest Moon game for a hell of a lot even cheaper over on the PlayStation 4. So I'll show you it when we get back to my car. I'll show you guys um, exactly what I picked up. I spent a grand total of like £14.98 and I got some bangers, one of which I've already streamed on Twitch and I cannot recommend it enough, but you'll have to wait till later in the episode. So now we have some like phone and controller um, chargers. The, the Grogu actually, I actually got Jess for Christmas. He holds phones, iPads and the PlayStation 4 controllers. Um, and these are really, really cool. These are $39.99. And as you can see, they hold your phone. Or you might not have been able to see it, but they do hold your phone. So where you saw the Sonic 1 artwork, for example, that would be where the back of the phone sits. But $39.99... I think it's a little bit steep as much as I really liked them. I'm not quite sure if I would be willing to kind of pay that. I don't know. Let me know what you think. You might feel completely different. Um, so PC stuff. So obviously a lot of streamers watch my content as well. There was some really nice Razer stuff that I thought was a good price. So this is like a power up bundle. That was £100. You get a mic, keyboard and a mouse. So if you're starting out, that's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I typically use Corsair or Razer stuff for my PC, just depending on how I feel. Um, but I don't really PC game, so having the best mouse and the best uh, keyboard for me is, is not massively essential for my kind of output over on Twitch, for example. So, PS4 stuff here. Now, now Generation Zero, this is a good game, but I got I think I got that for free. I don't know how I got it for free. It might have been a PlayStation Plus game at some point. Really good game, survival kind of game. Um, you're fighting mechs in this open world. Really good co-op. So definitely check out Generation Zero. We've got some really nice stuff here. Really, really good stuff. I was pleasantly surprised, actually. Now, this is the Harvest Moon I was telling you about. This is £7.99. It's so a good reduction from £34.99. And I've been thinking a lot about stardew valley recently because the creator of stardew valley has a new game in development so i've seen a lot of the new game that he's developing over on on twitter um, and i thought you know what i need to get into stardew valley again so that's where my harvest moon kind of fascinations creeping in i uh, got some avengers at 1899 marvel avengers not really my kind of game so i left it Vanguard is a piece of crap, so that's just getting left. Back for Blood now, £27.49. So if you want a zombie co-op game online or whatever else, that's not a bad price. But if you're a Game Pass Ultimate owner, like I am, Back for Blood is actually free. So just bear that in mind. Skyrim Anniversary Edition, up there for £24.99. Among Us, again, that's free on Game Pass, so I wouldn't necessarily want to be paying £24.99. Now, I was after a really cool game called Hunt Down. If you've been following me and watching me on Twitch, Hunt Down is a game that I saw over on Metal Jesus Pickups video with Reggie recently. So I paid £6 on the store for that, but I wanted a physical copy. And later in this episode, I'll show you a quick trailer of what you can expect from Hunt Down. It is amazing and I'm hooked on it. So, Shenmue 3. Shenmue fans £4.99. This goes to show you don't need to spend a lot, even on the high streets, if you want to snag yourself some really nice games. Stubbs the Zombie, 
really expensive on the original Xbox. Let's just get that out there. And I actually didn't know until recently that it came out on the later or more newer console. So that's not too bad. Um, but I was just kind of looking. I did ask as well about Hunt Down. They didn't have a physical copy, but I've since picked one up online. So I might keep it sealed because I have a digital copy. So like I said, we do dive back into the Switch stuff. We'll come back to that. But I thought that steering wheel wasn't too badly priced. I'm not a huge fan of steering wheels purely because they take up a hell of a lot of room. And obviously as a collector and a gamer, space is like gold dust. And we need to save it where we can. Um, bags and whatnot, Nerf guns, there's loads of stuff in here, guys. So again, if you're not around a local retro game shop, Pop in here, pop into your local game and get yourself some nice bargains. Some some sales are here, look, you know, I say some. Nintendo first party, never expect sales on that stuff. But again, like I said, Harvest Moon stuff in here. I, you've got Pikmin, there we go. Mild, mild price drop at $42.99. And then some peripherals. But in terms of like Switch peripherals, I much prefer the first party stuff. For example, my Pro Controller over any third party Nintendo Switch controller. This is a game that is amazing. You need to pick up Hot Shot Racing, but we'll talk more about that in the car. We're going to cash out and we're going to take a quick peek at the retro stuff in CX. <laughs> So back in the car, not too bad actually, not too bad. Um, hope you guys saw some things that you thought, hey, that looks cool. Now I picked up a couple of things which I'll show you. You saw me pick things up in that. I was like putting it back down. Um, I'm actually after a copy of a game called Hunt Down on the PS4. Now you can get it online um, and you might ask, you know, what is it? Well, I've streamed it. Um, I'll show you guys what Hunt Down is. It's like a 16-bit pixel side-scroller, SNES-inspired, really good sound, really good game. Um, check out some gameplay from my stream. Enter a future where crime rules the streets. When the citizens are in trouble, they call the authorities. When the authorities are in trouble, they call the bounty hunters. Showtime! Anaconda. She knows the meaning of life. Pa, pa, pa. That's why she can take it away so easily. I'll blow your head off. Her jacket size says 38. Special. And her favorite smell is fear. Die. <laughs> John Sawyer. Cyborg. He's been a man since he was a boy. Enjoy your flight. Everything he owns is made out of metal. Oh, reliable. His blood type spells AK-47. Get out of my sight! Though he only donates other people's blood. <laughs> yeah! Horror has a name. 
It's Mo Man. But those who stand in the killer machine's path know him by the name Grim Reaper. Why don't they just sterilize the population? He knows everything except mercy. Empathy module not responding. When Mo Man looks at you, you look at your grave. Batter up, strike. You may hunt down those who have it coming. Get up, do your job! Too bad, they all have it coming. <laughs> the hoodlum dolls. Yeah! The misconducts. The heat seekers. The number one suspects. Hunt them down and make a healthy living by making living. Unhealthy. In. Hunt down. So it looks wicked. Uh, I can get it online for about 22 quid. You get some like pin badges um, and this like little manual thing. Uh, but I thought I'd check it out in there, but unfortunately they don't have it. So uh, here's what I picked up. So picked up. Um, Harvest Moon Light of Hope Special Edition. What makes this a special edition? I do not know, but I kind of fancied um, something that was reminiscent of uh, Stardew Valley. I know Harvest Moon has obviously been around a hell of a lot longer, and this was only £7.99, reduced from £34.99. Um, and then I picked up Hot Shot Racing. Now, this looks like inspired by retro games such as like Sega Rally, Ridge Racer, um, kind of cell shaded it looks like. I believe I have seen this on Metal Jesus social media, so shout out to the, the MJ himself. And I think Reggie's actually spoken about this as well, so I kind of thought I'd pick that up, and that was £9.99. But between the two, well, I'll just drop them as well. I actually got them um, for 15 quid because um, I had some money on my game card. So not too bad for a couple little pickups on Boxing Day sales. So guys, make sure you subscribe if you want more out and about content. Um, I did a lovely episode. Um, the last episode I did was about my Christmas of 1991. If you like your nostalgia, there'll be something in that for you. So I'll link it please go and watch it in full because this is storytelling so if you skip it you'll miss it but for now have a good one and i'll see you in the next one bye